Okay, oftentimes I will provide some sort of notes or we will be doing a lot of writing on computers and typing on computers in my class. Uh, sometimes we write and practice math with whiteboards which are found in your materials boxes at each table. But sometimes you just need a piece of paper to write on. Sometimes I'll just say, hey, get a blank piece of paper out. We're going to write some stuff down or we're going to practice or you're going to do something on your own. In that case, it's always important for you to be prepared. You always have your pencil and maybe a notebook or a binder full of paper ready to go. But on occasion, if you run out, here's what you can do. I've got one drawer right here. That top one right here, this is just my scratch paper drawer. It's just got papers. Sometimes they actually have things written on them, but a lot of times they just have a blank back size. If you just need a scratch piece of paper or something to write with, you can use that. I'll also show you a few other materials. I do have some notebooks like these. Okay, You can use them. In fact, uh, I'm not just giving them away, but if you don't have a lot of if you don't have paper to write on, I'll give you one of these you can just use it in my classroom. I'll also show you one more thing. Sometimes, sometimes I will also have extra papers and handouts over here in this corner just above the plant. And you also see a bunch of notebooks. These are like halfway full. My, my first year teaching I used them for a half a year and then I stopped using them. So these have blank papers inside of them as well. Always good for just random scratch pieces of paper that you probably don't think you're going to keep. So if you'd like one of these, you can go ahead and just rip out the pages that are written on.